Um, my work is in powerful sources of microwaves and in their applications, uh, especially in the program of fusion energy uh, research, but also in some other areas of spectroscopy and more basic applications. The sources that I'm working on are something like the devices that are inside microwave ovens. The magnetrons in microwave ovens have a high voltage applied to the device and the electron beam inside generates coherent microwave radiation. The devices I work on are uh, mainly gyrotrons. These are a, a different kind of device that operates in a very high magnetic field and generates much higher frequency uh, microwaves. The major application is in the program of nuclear fusion energy research. What we're doing is creating a plasma, which is a, a gas in which the electrons have been heated up and stripped off of the gas atoms. And the resulting uh, plasma is contained inside of a high magnetic field. Uh, usually in the form of a torus or donut shaped device called a tokamak. What we need to do is to supply megawatts of microwave power to heat up this plasma to the point where it can produce fusion energy output. Our, our main application is in building the gyrotrons for this uh, plasma heating application. In nuclear fusion we are hoping to build power plants. Power plants are going to generate gigawatts of power. So we have to put in uh, tens of megawatts to ignite the fusion reaction, but it will then pay us back by producing gigawatts of power. Fusion energy itself is making great strides. We are building a first um, device that's reactor scale, a device called ITER. This is a, a fusion reactor prototype that's being built in the south of France. It will uh, produce net energy at the level of 500 megawatts. Japan, Russia, Korea, China, India, and the United States are all partners in, in this project. This will be a big test. Can we actually build such a huge system to do the heating? Everything people have been working on for a generation is going to uh, be in a make or break situation in about 10 years when this device is finally built, put into full operation. It's certainly the solution to the energy problem. We need fusion energy as a non-greenhouse gas and widely available source of energy. If it works, it really will change the course of history.